It has been incredibly difficult to get out of bed lately because we actually just got a brand new mattress from Helix Sleep and we've been sleeping like babies every single night. So thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video and giving me the best sleep I've ever had. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Everybody's different and Helix knows that, so they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's taste and if you sleep with a partner like me, you can even take the sleep quiz together and you can find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. So based on our results, Helix matched us with their Helix Midnight Luxe mattress. I'm mostly a side sleeper. I also prefer a hard mattress, whereas James likes a more soft feel. So we were matched with one that fits perfectly in the middle. We have both been sleeping on the Helix mattress for a few weeks now and we absolutely love it. <sighs> oh no, I put it on upside down, you guys. <laughs> this would be so much easier if James was here, but like even by myself, this isn't that bad. Like the fact that I can do this alone. Oh. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, we did it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, even the bottom was comfortable, but this is like a whole other level. Oh my god, it's so perfect. Ugh. I can't wait to sleep tonight. I'm so excited. We have been sleeping amazingly. We haven't woken up with any aches or pains, and for me, Personally, I'm a super hot sleeper. I normally wake up sweating every single morning, which I know is kind of gross and it's really frustrating and it makes it like really uncomfortable. But since using the Helix mattress, I haven't been nearly as hot as I normally am, which makes my sleep so much better. With your Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. And there are also financing options and flexible payment plans, which is super cool. I love my Helix. I think that you would too. I have been wanting a new mattress for so long, so I'm super excited about this partnership, especially since James and I just moved into a new place. It's nice to, you know, get set up with a new mattress and everything. So if you're looking for a new bed or new mattress, check out Helix. You can click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Angelina Nicole for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. You guys, I'm so excited. Also, James has no idea. I feel like he'll notice that the bed's taller, but also I feel like he's not the most observant sometimes. I feel like he might not notice, so I almost feel like I shouldn't tell him. But he's gonna know because the old mattress is in his spare room. <laughs> I don't think I can surprise him, but oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Good morning, welcome to my 6 a.m. morning routine. I also just realized that I started my period this morning, so. Oh, also, I woke up to my TikTok hitting like half a million views. Just, it's like a six second video of me using an onion chopper. <laughs> I don't know. I think I cracked the algorithm, guys, because like, what's going on? We're gonna go to the gym this morning. That is our typical morning routine. We try to go pretty early because James works during the day and we like to go together. Oh, also, James broke our French press like a few weeks ago and for some reason we still haven't got like a new thing to make coffee so <laughs> we haven't really been having coffee lately unless we buy it but i'll probably just have some pre-workout before we go to the gym the perfect outfit to wear when you're on your period just red okay.
look at that one. To the left. We definitely don't come here every single morning as part of our routine, but if James has extra time in the morning, we like to get we like to get some coffee and drive around the cliffs. James really wants me to show you the waves right now. <laughs> We're doing a little surfing this morning. Doing, doing a little surf check. Also, I got a caramel oat milk latte. Look how clear the water is. Okay, so I finished my coffee, but I didn't get to do like the entire ab workout that I wanted to do at the gym. So I'm going to do my ab workout from week one of my May Wellness Guide, which is out right now. You can subscribe. And then there's also an option now if you want to just get the May Wellness Guide without being subscribed. It's like, I think a dollar or two more, but you won't be subscribed. So you can just buy it one time. And then if you like it, you can, you know, buy the June one, see how you like it, whatever. Um, I just want to make that an option because some people might not want to be a, like subscribed to like a monthly thing. But yeah, I'm gonna do an ab workout just in the living room and then journal and then make breakfast and then shower at some point. <laughs> right now I feel like my morning routine is always the same things like I journal I move my body in some way or another I go to the gym take a fitness class whatever I make breakfast I shower I get ready for the day I do all of those things but I feel like every morning they're a little they're in like a little bit of a different order depending on like I don't know maybe like I come home from the gym and I want to shower right away or maybe I wake up and I journal and then I go to the gym like it just depends on how I'm feeling so I think showering is probably going to be the last thing that I do because I've already journaled and now I'm going to make breakfast and then I'll shower and then like get ready for the day. So same agenda every morning but different chronological order. Also gonna have my vitamins so typically every day I well I just recently actually started taking my seed again um, so I take two of those I had to work my way up to taking two I just started with one for like four days to get my stomach used to it so I take two of these now and then I have a few different types of goalie vitamins that I take but this one is the super fruits beauty and wellness one so i'm going to have two of those gummies and then these are the multi mushroom gummies it's kind of like a multivitamin from earth and star they taste super good and they're made with tons of mushrooms which are really good for you so i'm gonna have my vitamins <music> Okay, 
Okay, I put on an outfit because I don't own a robe and I want to do my skincare and it's really hard for me to like hold my towel on me so I don't flash all of you. So we got dressed. I honestly like I work from home and if I'm not wearing workout clothes, I'm usually just wearing like this is these are just shorts that are really baggy and like a crop top like I'm in lounge clothes, comfy clothes all day. I feel like the only time I ever wear clothes that's not lounge wear or athletic wear is when I'm going out, like to dinner, drinks, whatever. I don't even know what my style is anymore because I feel like I just don't wear regular clothes ever. Um, anyways, starting off with toner, I will have all of these linked. I think most of my skincare products are in my Amazon storefront in my skincare section. Got Coco Kind Toner. I always do my skincare and then my hair care and then I do lotion on my body because I don't want to get like my, I don't know, I just don't want cross contamination. Like I don't want to get lotion in my hair, you know, obviously you can wash your hands. Um, I have a few different serums but usually daytime, my AM morning skincare routine, I use a vitamin C serum so this is Youth to the People. I love all of their products. On my skin. I'm actually so surprised that I'm on my period and pretty much every single time, like a week before I start my period, I get at least one pimple on my face and I didn't get any this time, which maybe it's the skin hair routine. Okay, then I go back with toner again. And then I just like try to pat it in. I try not to like rub a lot. And then moisturizer. This is the OCA. Hold on, let me close this. So many planes. OCA Advanced Protection Cream. Love this stuff. It's a very thick moisturizer. If you don't like a thick one, I wouldn't recommend. But um, I love it because my skin is just so dry. And especially now that like the weather's getting a little bit warmer, I need like all the moisturizer that I can get because my skin is just it's so dull and dry and I find that like I mean not everyone needs like a seven step skincare routine but I honestly find that the more products I put on my face the better my skin looks which sounds counterintuitive but it works for me everyone's skin is different then I go in with an SPF the one I'm using right now is dermatology it's an SPF 45 I also have a tinted moisturizer um, by the same brand that I use sometimes but I think I'm just gonna do regular I'm not really seeing anyone today besides I'm going to work later at the spin studio. Um, so maybe I'll put that on later before I go, but it doesn't, it just makes me feel like look a little bit more glowy, which is nice, but I just like to put some SPF on. Also, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and I just booked a doctor's appointment for this month to get my skin checked because I have been so bad at, like I'm good at putting SPF on my face, but the rest of my body when I go out in the sun, I'm like, I wanna get tan. And then I get sunburned and then it's just bad. So don't do what I do. Go get your skin checked and wear your sunscreen. Okay, not part of like my skincare, but why is it like red right here? I don't know what's going on. Um, I always brush my eyebrows because I like cannot be seen by anyone. I brush my eyebrows before I go to bed because it's just like a pet peeve if my eyebrows are messed up. So do that. Sometimes use an eyebrow gel, but I'm not gonna do that today. Deodorant, Coco, oh, Cleo and Coco. Best natural deodorant, it smells so good. I use this every day. And now let's do my hair care routine. So a lot of you might know, I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, that I haven't used shampoo in over two and a half years. Also this brand, what is it called? Aquis. They sent me this hair wrap towel and then also this like super drying hair towel. It's amazing. If you have like thick hair like mine that literally will not towel dry or air dry, it just takes so long for it to dry. And I don't use a blow dryer because my hair will look horrendous if I use a blow dryer. So I let it air dry, but it takes so long. This towel is amazing. Like I'll wrap it in it and around my hair like for five minutes after I get out of the shower. And it's like, I mean, it's obviously still wet, but it's not like dripping. Like it will be dripping if I don't do that. Okay, anyways, hair care routine. I only use conditioner. I ran out of my other one. Um, this one, amazing. Art Naturals Biotin Rice Water. I'm probably gonna get another one from Target. That's where I got it, but that's also linked 
in whatever my link but i got sent this conditioner from headquarters so i just want to use it and like see how i like it it's a lot thicker than the other one it smells so good though and so far i do like it so this is one i've been using currently because i just ran out of my other one i just use conditioner i don't use shampoo and then the two things i use when i get out of the shower not your mother's curl talk defining cream and then uh, Maria Nila Ocean Spray. I love Maria Nila's products. They're so good. I use the um, Maria Nila hair mask like two to three times a week. And I just scrunch the curl talk. I only use like a tiny amount. And honestly, I do the same hair care routine every day, but my hair turns out differently all the time because it's wavy, you know? There's not much to control. Like, I don't have much control over what it does. It just kind of has a mind of its own. And then I just spray in a little bit of this Ocean Salt Spray, which is the only one that i found that doesn't make my hair crispy and crunchy. So, that's the routine. Oh, and then, I'm like out of breath. A little bit of lotion. This is the one, my friend got me this, I think, for like Christmas or my birthday. It's super good. It smells really good. I just put that on my legs. Oh! Ow! Um, I just like to be hydrated because my skin is so dry, like I've already mentioned, so... I put lotion on pretty much every day. That's a routine. Now we're ready to work from home and not talk to anyone all day. I forgot to show that I also brush my teeth as part of my morning routine, which I'm doing now. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my morning routine. I kind of like to try to do these like every season because I feel like every season they change a little bit and like obviously I moved recently so it changed a little tiny bit. So I like to update you guys on my morning routine. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed these videos. Let me know if you want to see more or let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!